kitchen. You know what that means. Yeah, we're going to eat food. Yes. And we're going to delight. How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, stranger. Stranger. You, I've been here is where I've been. I'm working right? weekends been... now, so I don't work all every day during the week. So I leave you alone with other people. Who'd you work actually, with? Actually, I have a lot of fun. Michelle, oh, Valerie, yeah, a lot of great people. Yeah, so that. thank you for enjoy giving me a last. chance. Uh, anyway, <laughs> welcome everybody. I'm Yay. glad. I'm actually very happy to be back Yay. with my best buddy. And we've got, let me tell you, we have the crazy today special mm. just in time because it's you know it's gonna start it's to get warm out, out there yeah right? it's picnic season you know what it's i love totally for mother's is. day a picnic and i love yeah. it for all summer long picnics. yeah i know and uh it doesn't matter you know most people when they think of a, of a cooler they think of that it keeps things cool but this actually will also keep things hot so if you're going to a cookout and maybe you've got baked beans or some kind of a Ooh, mac and cheese good. type thing that you want to keep warm hours and hours and hours it, it holds temperature it's got that unique technology that um keeps the the temperature inside um so whether you're doing cold stuff or hot stuff and there's a lot of room inside there um, 60 cans it'll fit that's a lot of can yeah yeah uh and it keeps things uh ice cold for up to five hours uh if you're doing things like transporting let's say you're going to a potluck and you're bringing a lasagna put it in the car pack it in there you don't know, like the, the the stuff the guys carry the pizza in but this oh, is like jacked yeah. up version of that. Right. They just use the little things. These little things. But it does fold flat, which is great. So it doesn't right. take up that giant cooler space More in your garage that. or in your closet. Um, it literally will fold up and fit underneath the bed or in a closet or in your, you know, uh, trunk. Now I, wherever I, you want to keep it. I know you've seen it out there on infomercial, but we've got a better deal because we include some extras and we're also putting it on FlexPay. And right. we're going to give you an extra 10 bucks off if... If you get an HSN card. This is a great time to be able to get one because all you got to do is ask on the phone or search HSN card. I I bet if you were on the phone, you could literally just say the words HSN card. Boom. And whoever's on the phone with you would help you out. And then you'll get $10 off your very first purchase. If you are hungry this morning, you're gonna want that $10 to be off pancakes. How about pancakes? Some of us shy away from pancakes because they're not really the healthiest thing. Um, these are the healthiest pancake you can ever try, but healthy and pancake, not usually tasty. Not always in the yeah. same sentence there. You can come out if you want, Jan. I do. Uh, are you kidding me? So, so it let's to, to reiterate what my lovely co-host just Wilkins. said. And Tim Wilkins is here as well. <laughs> Tim, here's the deal. Here's the problem. All right. When we think about pancakes. We, we always think, especially people that are trying to, you know, be more healthy and lose weight, we think, yeah. oh my gosh, processed sugars, uh, they're going to be full of carbs, which enriched, they are. Enriched bleach, white oh flour. Oh my yes. goodness. And, and you know what we do? We avoid them. And I love pancakes. Like when I go to that, you know, that famous country place down the road. Oh yes. I yeah. love me some pancakes and bacon. This but I just eat the bacon because the pancakes are, they say, can be worse for you than the bacon. This Absolutely. smells incredible. Okay, this is the apple cinnamon. Now, I will say, the reason I'm doing this product is because I practically begged. I've been eating these for over two years. I probably yeah. eat three or four times a week. I eat these pancakes. I'll actually pre-make them a couple days in advance. Sure. So every morning I just get them a grab and go because they're packed with protein, which keeps you fuller longer, builds muscle, runs the whole body, everything. High fiber sweetened with uh, fruit and uh, vegetable sugars. Oh so they're not artificial sugars. It's no everything sugar. we want. And Guy was talking about this with that extra fiber, high fiber from uh, rolled oats and coconut flour. So these oh are gosh. really, really oh healthy. Gosh. But when you taste these, these will take I'm a minute. Done. When you taste these, you are going to flip out. All right. Wait, and you can make all different kinds of things. We gotta talk about the flavors because this smells yeah. incredible. I'll come over um, here. I, I smell the apple cinnamon. I wish that you could smell these. You can cut, you can see the cinnamon in there. Yeah. Real apples, real cinnamon, and then did I see banana? Yeah. So when you order it, all right, Are you're you gonna get four. You're gonna banana get four of the big jumbo containers. Each one of these uh, these little bags of the pancake mix is enough to make a whole bunch of pancakes. So if you yeah. probably pull one bag out for the family, you can use them in waffle irons. You can use them. In fact, we have our Holstein coming up in just a bit. Oh yeah, the so we can make we can waffles. use that as well. But you're going to get four bags of these. So you get two of the buttermilk. You get one of the banana, which is the banana is just ridiculous. Yeah. And then banana the one that we're talking about now is the cinnamon, the apple now, cinnamon. Here's yeah. the big thing. So we're talking about apple cinnamon. I'm going to flip these in a minute. So they mix up with just water. Okay. Or you can add milk and an egg, which adds even more protein to it, which is delicious. But these aren't just pancake and waffle mixes. They're actually baking mixes. So you can replace all the amazing treats. I made a bunch of the recipe, uh, recipes that are on the back of the bag now. Shannon, I'm going to give you one of these donuts in a minute. Yes, Apple you are. cinnamon donuts that are packed with protein. So if you still want to be healthy, you still want to treat, which we all do, you can replace, you can either use the recipes on the back of the bag or on the website, or replace your normal recipes with a scoop of this yeah. to pack your recipes and treats with protein. Show us some of the things that okay. you made there, Tim, before we flip okay. our panty cakes. Close. This, uh, no. Like this close. Like, like this close? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Apple cinnamon donut. Okay. Taste that. 
And you oh, it's super soft super and tender soft. And, and cakey. Okay, look at okay. that. Holy cow, you made that just with okay. this baking mix. Yes, milk. and look how fluffy these pancakes are, by the way. I flipped that funky. There we go. Oh my god. Look how fluffy and delicious these pancakes yeah, I are. No. How good that uh, banana. Uh, guy. I'll take my right, Okay. Sure. Uh -huh. There you go, right there. Wow. Oh, that's really great. Good. And that's not that's not bad for me. Like no, it's a guilt-free donut. No. no, and it is actually packed with protein and packed with fiber. So if you've got picky eaters in your house who say, I'm not eating anything healthy. Now you can sneak that in and make sure that they're eating healthy around the house. You know what my favorite thing is? Brinner. Br Br you know what brunch, brinner is? Br breakfast, breakfast for dinner. For dinner. Yes, yeah. one of my absolute yeah. favorites. That, this way you can actually get that without having to add even extra meat. I mean, this is a great way to even go meat free. You know, people will say like, go meat free, just try it once, once a week or something. And I'm yeah. like, ugh, veggies for dinner. Veg but this, is, this is protein, protein now, pack. I will tell you, here's the thing. You gotta let these sit for a minute after you first mix them up, even okay. if you're using water. Right. But just like any other pancake mix, people say, oh, they're a little dry. Add a little bit more water. Make sure just oh. like any other pancake yeah. mix that they're the right consistency sure. for what you want. Coconut flour is like that. Oh, yeah. Because I, I use it in baking recipes and you have to add a little bit more liquid. Yes. It doesn't change the nutritional value of it. It just makes it easier for you to be able to, to work the uh, the batter when All you right. make okay. it. There are forks but over I there, guys. I will guy. tell you, um, if you start off, it's just like anything else. When you start off oh. with the healthy ingredients, you can then enjoy a little bit of syrup, and you can Thank put. You. I, I still mm. put a little bit of butter on there. Why are you just, there. just, use, just use less, but use the real thing. That's kind of where we're at. And I know Tim's like that too, because Tim's a crazy health nut. In case you didn't all know, <laughs> um, he is. Uh, hey, let me tell everybody really quickly before we bite into these. Um, we also have this available on auto ship. It comes oh every 30 God. days, but if you oh. want, you can, you can customize your auto ship. So if you want it every 60 days or 90 days, whatever, and you can lock in that, see where it says free shipping down there? You can lock that in as well. Listen, no guilt pancakes. That, those words usually don't go together, guilt and pancakes. They, I'm telling you, or they usually delicious. do. Delicious. Uh, this time they don't, and they are great. And oh. you can use them in waffle makers. Yeah. Um, whatever uh, it is, you can make cupcakes out of these, you can make cookies, yeah. I mean, it's great. So let's talk about the type of protein, because everybody's talking about types of protein. You know, my kids are very particular, my boys especially are very That's particular delicious. about certain yeah. types of protein. It's delicious, yeah. right? So what is adding that 20 grams of protein? It is whey protein isolate, which is the pure purest protein you can actually get your hands on, mm. and pea protein, which is that vegetarian protein that everybody's absolutely going crazy over. So they're the two best proteins you can get to mix things up and give you that beautiful, there we are right there, Ooh. give you that beautiful protein you want in your diet to help you keep fuller oh longer so you won't want to eat as much Tim's as bad. But then you cream can add on whipped cream on, on, on it, why not? Why don't you put some chocolate sprinkles on there, there too, you go. Tim, while you're yeah, Take your healthiness. Yeah. Take well, that right there, though. guy. Tim, you know this better than anybody uh, here, too, is, that, is the fact that you know, you can have a little of this. It's when you it's when you do like five things wrong in a row. Right. Like when you have the heavy duty pancake and you put the syrup and the butter. Yeah. It's like you can have big potatoes. Mm. Just be real judicious about adding sour cream and butter because the potato on its own is good for you. It's actually good for you. It's yeah. well, I always say the sides that you put on are going to your sides. That's uh -huh. how you know that's one of the hints. Now, come down really here. Good. I want to show you so this. Good. I'm gonna steal this bag. Down here you see a stack of pancakes. That is a complete meal right there that it actually comes from one half cup serving. Now next to it you see the oatmeal and the three eggs. Mm -hmm. This has the same amount of protein and the same amount of uh, carbohydrates and fiber as this bowl of oatmeal with the sprinkle of blueberries and those three eggs. Mm. That is a complete meal that takes literally about five minutes to make Whoa. and you're walking out the door that easy and you say, oh, this is the size of the bag? Well, this is the size of the serving. And you feel after eating this, you feel like it was a special occasion. You know oh, what I mean? Like this, this is a right. treat. Pancakes are, they're always a treat. So pancakes, waffles, you've got breads over here. You have donuts, my guilt-free donuts. I can't even believe that donut. Do you want to hold on? That donut was so good. Amazing. No, I'm okay because I have a lot to eat. <laughs> I have to eat those, so I have to eat more stuff after this. <laughs> you know what else you see down there, guys? Wait, did you make biscuits? I did. This, these are the biscuits. I use the buttermilk mix for biscuits. So you can oh make a biscuit God. sandwich or just biscuits for your biscuits and gravy. These are oatmeal cookies over here. And then when we come back over by Guy, by that big stack of pancakes, that's the banana bread recipe that's on the back of the banana bread mix. You know what I love about the... Go ahead, Tim. I actually, I made, uh, I made this oh, not too easy. long ago, cut it really thin, and yeah. made uh, French toast for Amber with the banana bread. Yeah. Healthy, 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 and unbelievably Maybe delicious. you should put some chocolate sauce on that, I, too, I probably Tim. should. Yeah, you load that up. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'll tell you. We only brought in uh, about 1,300 of these. Um, uh, we've had versions of this in the past, and I, I'm telling you, this, this is so dang good. It's so delicious. And we we don't add, there's no added processed sugar. See, that's, it's unfortunate, but 
you know, being being human beings, and, and we're kind of animalistic, so so we have, we have salt and sugar and stuff. Our bodies ah. kind of get addicted to that. Mm -hmm. When you taste these, you won't feel any sacrifice. You'll just feel mm. satisfied, and and you'll get to have that pancake again. And and I honestly. Other than the one you just gave me, the last time I had pancakes was probably the last time I was at the Cracker Barrel. Oh. And that was probably a year ago. And I and I love pancakes, but I know pancakes just go right, they just go right well, to your waistline when you because eat them they're out, full of all the bad stuff. They're full of the bad stuff, they're wow. full of fat, they're full of about 60 Shannon to 80 ate grams. Whole pancake. <laughs> Man, I'm just Shannon. Gonna, I'm gonna walk my way around the plate. <laughs> Better give her plate number two. So take another one of those. Yeah. So, um. I actually, and I'll tell you this, a lot of people don't know, and you and I talk about this off-air guy. Uh, I'm a, an over 50 fitness competitor here very shortly. I've been competing for years and helping people with their diets and speaking to corporations for probably 20 years. And one of the things people always ask me is, what do I do? And it's so very basic. Small, frequent meals. Cut those carbs and fats and get more protein and more high fiber in there, and you will feel better, look better. And so many people say, all right, it's New Year's. I'm going to make a difference. They're usually done by about January 15th, January 18th. Now is the time to start again, to prolong all those great feelings, to keep eating better, mm. to keep having health. But you don't have to sacrifice flavor with this. Right. That's one you of those things. You know what things. else is nice? You don't feel like crap after you eat it. You know when you eat no. like a big heavy breakfast and you do, right? You're just oh. like, oh, God. You know, Look, it's like when I leave Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Although, don't get me wrong. I love me a little, a little you, of that you, food. You know what I got for but Christmas? One good. of those belts that clicks in and out. Yeah. That's, that's, oh, yeah. that's the you big meal that. belt right there. <laughs> Quick, click, click, click. He's the one that got me on that. I said, I got to get one of those. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's, that's your big pancake belt normally, but you don't have to feel crazy with this because they mm -hmm. are so light and delicate yeah. and full. Yeah. You, you just got to make sure Look that you Shannon cook them. Made. I, made, I made a breakfast taco. This is how I make breakfast tacos. That looks a like pancake. a cannoli. Do you see it's Shannon's a, breakfast taco? <laughs> we call it a taco. It makes it sound better. That's and Shannon's. it's got 20 grams of protein, which is probably good. more protein than your regular taco yeah. with looks meat like a cannoli. In it. That's, that's, your, uh, that's, that's your healthy cannoli oh, is what that is. Hey, yeah. let me show you one more time what you're going to get, and then I'll tell you. we got about a minute left and only 1,100 to go around. So if you want it, you're going to get four bags of this stuff. That's enough for like, heck, that's got to be like a month's worth of breakfast right there with pancakes for you and your kids. And here's the other thing, too. Your kids, your grandkids are not going to know the difference. They're going to think grandma made pancakes, yum, 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 because they taste so good. My personal favorite is the banana. I love that. I love, bananas are so good anyway. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, normally, um, even bananas, you know, they tell you not to eat too many bananas with this. You can have as much as you want. You're going to love them. A uh, great way to start today. People should not miss breakfast. Um, they shouldn't miss any or meal. Brenner. No, no more like, Brenner. But Shannon <laughs> likes breakfast so much she has it all day. They, they cannot tell you enough that this is the most important meal of the day because it starts your metabolism going, yeah. but protein will keep it going throughout the day and keep you burning and feeling good. Mm -hmm. And these are just packed with all Shannon the things you want. Not stopping you. I'm not stopping. I should have cooked well, you one of the bananas too well, earlier. Uh, Save it for me. Next segment. Here's the thing about this. If you've tried different forms of protein and different protein packed things, they can be a little gritty. They can be a little grainy. Absolutely not. It tastes absolutely delicious. They're delicious. Thank you so much, You're Tim. welcome. Thank you. Us all right. be healthier. And Tim's not going anywhere because Tim has the Cuisinart uh, frittata pan coming up in just a bit, which, by the way, you could make your pancakes in those pans oh, as well. Glorious. Sure. Uh, and if you would like, I know we have a special deal going on uh, in our kitchen brands, up to 30% off. So whether you need cutlery or pots and pans or whatever you need, um, go to hsn.com and check out all of our wonderful deals. Why did they have to go away with the pancakes? Those are really good. You know what, I think they might be cooking them up for us. Well, you know what we're gonna do? Let's turn those protein pancakes into waffles. Protein waffles? Yes. Hey, I'm on board with that. All right. All right, so anyway, continue to shop on hsn.com, and then, can I come over with you? Yes, all right. yeah. I want it. It's like a big is. family. We're all um, having breakfast together. Well, and Carrie Maletto's family. She's been here for how long? You've been here now, Carrie Maletto. Eight years. I just eight, eight years. Years. Oh, congratulations. Ooh, congratulations. That's something right. That's for all sure. Of us making delicious foods I for love us. To. Okay, this is waffles. So you can use the pancake mix that we just had, protein pancakes, or just make beautiful waffles. You know what my kids have been wanting lately, and it, it really had nothing to do. I didn't know that this was coming up. Yeah. Every single night, mom, can you make waffles? Every single night, can you make waffles? Yeah. I was like. Okay. Kids love waffles. Um, but this is a really fun way to make them. Awesome. They make them hearts, and it's Holstein. So every every gadget that I've got from Holstein is just so fun, and it makes it oh really, my. really Look simple at that. to get perfect, crisp on the outside waffles, fluffy and light on the inside, and look with hearts. Perfect and a heart for 19.95. I love the pink. We've got it in red and black as well. 
Yes, and you know, this time of year, it's it's just the perfect timing if you're trying to get the perfect gift for mom. And the thing is, maybe you want to make mom those waffles. Maybe mom is just, she loves you so much, she can make heart waffles all year long. So I love that this comes in this shape, and I'm using my flapjack protein pa mm. pancakes right oh, now yes. to waffles. load it right up. Now we have our batter bottles, which are so cool because it makes it really super easy. Yeah, and buy those because they are awesome. Yeah. The bottles that we call them batter bottles because they're bottles filled with batter, but they are on, <laughs> they make life so much mm -hmm. easier. And Real I love, bad. Carrie, that you can put them in the fridge. So if the kids yeah. want to have pancakes, they can literally have a pancake or waffle breakfast in like less than 10 minutes. Just pop it right out. Yeah. It's got a little lid. It's ready to go. So I love it. So you saw how easy it was for me just to fill this. And also the fact that I just pulled out some waffles and then reloaded it without having to do any cleanup or any really yeah. heavy work. And that's because everything with Holstein, it's a non-stick interior. So that non-stick means that you're going to be able to go from batch to batch to batch very quickly. And I think that's really important because, you know, you could have a really cool appliance, but if it's really hard to clean okay. every single time, you use it less. I'm glad you said that because you didn't spray it in between. You no, said you're doing waffles and then you tell, pull them out and then you spray them again. Then you do waffles, mm -hmm. you, pull, you spray them again. So you didn't have to spray it. Nope. Um, chocolate, protein, uh, doesn't matter. You choose red. Love the red. And let, they match your tongs. Yeah. And the pink, which is very, very <laughs> limited. I'm eating a chocolate and the waffle. Black. I'm telling you that right For now. Sure. <laughs> that you chocolate know, if you put waffle them all together, you can money. actually kind of make a little heart or like a, you know, imagine making green waffles for oh, yeah. um, for St. Patrick's Day and just put three together. It's like a little clover. Totally. Or um, you can make a little flower. That's a great or idea. Just any time you Why make not? waffles, get what? Guess what? Everybody huh. hearts. Waffles. How we about all heart? We them. do heart waffle. Mm -hmm. What about taking those waffles and put them in the freezer and then putting <gasps> a big scoop of vanilla ice cream in between them? Know? What do you think about that for dessert? Yes. Yeah. And look what she's doing. She's you are so creative. Duo flavor. So a I just marble waffle. Mix my vanilla with my chocolate. You can do two different flavors. You can only <laughs> enter in, into one cavity. So you could actually just do one if you wanted to. So if you just want to make yourself a quick waffle, not a problem. Be again, because these are nonstick, you don't have to fill oh the whole God, thing. But they so do good. two at a time. And you know, okay. look, I love that you're holding it. You can uh, see the size. And I don't work with Shannon. It's oh. An, oh. Uh. <laughs> Oh, and I don't work Heart the shape. Wait, broken. let me put it back together. Here, I'll give you the bigger half. That's hilarious. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you just so, redeemed yourself oh my God. for being on. Isn't that great? Chocolate. Chocolate. Waffle. Ooh. Chocolate oh, waffles. Really so and you, know you just bite through that, like, crisp, just that, just enough crisp oh on the exactly. outside and just, just right. enough of that, like, fluffy inside. How long did that take, Carrie? So, literally, you're cooking these in about four to five minutes. Wow. Um, depending upon the type of batter that you're putting in, sometimes it can take a little less, a little mm -hmm. more, so just keep an eye on it. What's nice Yum. about these, there's nothing Sorry. really to do except fill it and close it and let it do its job. And now, how do we know when it's done? So basically, you're just gonna check up on it. So when I wanted to come back, if this if I, this one was cooking, look, look how fast, fast this is oh, already I'm almost done. You saw me just put this in. I am gonna give this like another one minute just to make mm. sure it's perfect. Hey Tim, can you bring me that whipped cream over there? I want to show you guys how amazing and fun this can hey, be. Hey, Mr. Healthy, I'm bringing, I'm bring us that big thing of whipped cream. We're gonna make Thank you, Tim. Okay, so. <laughs> He was over there like this before. He's, he was waiting. He just <laughs> wanted me to call him back. Aw. Yeah, that's being here. how he builds those muscles. Thank you. Yes, he thing. runs a lot. A lot of cardio. All right, look at you, Miss Fourth but of July. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go against him and what he just said. But you know what? Here's the thing. You can use his, his the flapjack and, and make yeah. it super healthy. But you know what? You know what I love about these? Look at in the size of the palm of my hand. These are nicely sized. So in life, right. Tim was absolutely correct. It's about how much you do. Sure. So if mm -hmm. you can make everything portionally correct, then, and you're not going crazy, like don't eat 10 of these waffles, eat just two of them, right. you know, and put right. some nice little toppings on here and it is plenty, mm -hmm. you know, fulfilling right. without you having to have a huge stack. So I love that about this and I'm just gonna have some fun here, but my next one, I'm even gonna show you how you could put stuff inside of them. So that's something oh, no, that bake. you may wonder if you wanna, you know, be able to do that, but of course you can. That's so here, awesome. set that over mm -hmm. there. Let's go over here. So now what I love about these is they're nice sized, which means that when you store these away, the cord actually wraps at the bottom. So for storing purposes, you don't have to worry about them taking up a Look lot of space. Look how stick these are too. Isn't That's it incredible. Great? It pops right oh out, right? Gosh. Makes life super easy. So imagine Makes what you're perfect. gonna do for mom for this Mother's Day and or your kids or your grandkids or grandmom. It could be anybody. And I, that's why I love the heart shape because I think it makes it Look really strawberry. special. Mm -hmm. And anything that you would waffle, you can cook in here. So even though we're predominantly doing batters this morning, mm -hmm. you can
can really use anything in here because of the non-stick. So if you wanted to use, I have done this before, oh, have sausage. Like if you have like the actually sure. ground up sausage, you Just can pack make it in there. heart sausages. Sure. You can do different huh. types of meats in here. Any anything, kind of muffin, I would imagine. Any right? type of muffin mix, absolutely. Yeah. But look how fun that is. I'm gonna cook these right into the waffles. Going uh, you know, to a restaurant that maybe does something like this, how mm -hmm. much would they charge you for something like that? And could you uh, even make it as personalized as that? And you I was know? just looking at the price. This is 20 bucks. That's, I mean, yeah. if you use this Less one, than a waffle use this one time hard. with your two grandkids, <laughs> that's Aww. worth $20, all right? I mean, remember it. Honestly, like if this was 49 bucks, I'd be like, but do I really need a waffle maker? It's 19.95, guys. And let me tell you, I spent $139 on a really high-end waffle maker. I used it once. It's yeah, about four times the size of this. It's a great waffle maker. But I never, you know, I'm like, listen, I spent all that money. I'm not taking yeah. advantage of it. When you spend $20 on something mm. like this, and it's Holstein really brings us a variety of different baking tools and baking appliances, these guys know what they're doing. Wait, what is that? You'll be so happy. This, now, you did you do a Sorry. savory uh, one? Yes, I did. Of course. Is that oh. a cheese grit? So this is a pancake mix. Oh. But what we did was we did put cheese in it. So you are very smart. You, you caught that, Shannon. Mm. So but here's you? how we're, yeah, please. So when you're done with these, because they are savory, put some sour cream, and we've done some chime. So we've done some bacon, we've done some cheese, and you can actually make this, so like how you said you love to do like Brinner. Yeah. Okay, this is a great way to take it down Come to Brinner, on. but still maybe make yeah. some savoriness to it. I love it. Just by adding some cheese, you know, so cornbread mix, um, I do one, mix. and I do one like a savory one with like, some, and then after you take it out, put a little salmon on there, and a little, you know what I mean? Like yeah. Yeah. Version. Well, and imagine. if you have a heart, that, and hearts are good generically for anybody. So anybody. a friend, Oops, it could be your goodness, girlfriend, sorry. it could be your mom, your yeah. dad, whatever, Kids. your grandparents. Mm -hmm. That's what's so nice. Okay, so now here's a dough, a dough that you would think would be a little more difficult, but look. So this is the pancake mix, yeah. okay, with the cheese in it. So when you put the cheese in it, obviously it makes it a little more uh, thick. Yeah. So um, I'm just using a spoon here to really get it just lined up right. So all you want to do, because this is going to press it down and it's going to cook down, is just get it into the shape uh, pretty much. And then once it starts, it's going to spread out. So just get that in there like so. And then it's going to cook down. So when I close this, all you do at the front is you lock it in just like that. So there's a little lock at the front. Oh, so one. there you have it. So you just mm. pop that off. So that's all you really have to know how to use is that right there open that's yeah. it. you know that's you couldn't it. you couldn't do that if it wasn't so non-stick imagine yes. putting cheese on any one of the other waffle makers and maybe oh. the last time you got a waffle maker was for your wedding right that's mm. when you end up with like three waffle makers and you're like sure. when am i ever going to use these you kind of <laughs> put them away maybe use them every once in a while if you have not had a waffle maker a brand new waffle maker since you got married this is new technology this is mm. better non-stick than Absolutely. ever before and when you Good have point. one that's so simple and so much fun you will use it that's the thing it's great it's cute to have out on on a little countertop because you've got the pink or the red or the, the black waffle. look at the healthy waffle came out oh, just great okay so that. this is the guys this is the first time i'm using this so this is really fun so you can make heart protein waffles get oh out God. of town oh guys so now you know of course i'll just you know put a little bit of something and you honestly can afford to. if you put like if you wanted to save even more you could put applesauce on those instead of syrup it's right really could. That which would be, would be a little less sugar so mm -hmm. you honestly you get that feel like wow i'm satisfied i had like what would normally be a sweet treat but yep. it's good for you <gasps> oh right? there's the marble one that so you yeah made. i made the marble guy okay so you can have so much fun with this that's what i was saying so if you wanted to do different colors we could you do totally rainbow look at the marble. bottom look how that came I out do. the bottom i know you I do. Do. Um, yeah. And you know, you, you could do just two different flavors. So I want to just point out that you don't have to do the same and that can make it fun at breakfast time. So if you really want to put out a few different batters and everybody can nice. choose their own batters, then they can choose their own toppings. I love waffles for that reason. And because these pop out so fast, yeah. you literally will just be making waffles every few minutes. Mm. And so you can't beat it. If you know, you ever stayed at a hotel before and then the, the, like, I don't know what it is. Cause it's funny that you mentioned we get these for when we have a wedding or something and then we never use them. But every time mm. we stay at a hotel and they have that little waffle bar, we we're like, so excited. Waffle oh uh, yeah, it's so true. <laughs> you can have waffle bar at home in a matter yeah. of minutes with a machine that literally cleans. It's, I mean, it's so yeah. simple to keep you're clean. You're so funny because you're 100% right. Like whenever I stay in the hotel, I'm just like, what? Waffle bar? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, it's like the pancake maker they have up at Universal. There's one that you just <laughs> you hit a button and a pancake comes flying out of the machine. You're like, oh, that's the coolest thing ever. Because but the line love, is so long, huh? right? Because those waffles, the line of yeah, the waffle bar is so long because it takes, it takes forever. Yeah, because the machine stinks and it takes forever. And I don't mind saying that. This takes about four minutes so you you know what's great Carrie too is if you're trying to feed the kids in the morning by the time you even got a pan out to, to cook eggs 
your waffles are done. Yeah. Totally. And if you use the healthy waffle mix, then you don't even have the kids are going. You to don't school. even need eggs then either, because you got yeah. 20 grams of protein as your flapjack Yum. protein. <laughs> All right, this is uh, so fun, and it really is. It doesn't matter what the event. Of course, if it's Mother's Day, of course, if it's Father's Day, of course, Valentine's Day. But you'll use these just for the fun of having quick waffles that are healthier as well. Like if you could do Absolutely. toaster waffles, these are tastier. They're healthier. You know what's mm. in them. They weren't in the freezer. They're <laughs> fresh. Oh, look at that. A waffle sandwich. sandwich. Oh, you could put ice cream in it, make an ice cream waffle oh, sandwich. Oh, the brownie one is perfect for that, by the way. are endless. Thanks yes. so much, Carrie. Appreciate Absolutely. that. All right, we have to wrap up so that, um, because Guy's mouth is full. He's eating and eating. Um, but we've been uh, talking about different healthy options, <laughs> like flabjacks, um, cooking, and making waffles that are healthy for you. How about an entire hour devoted to healthy you? It's tonight, um, every Tuesday night, Brett Chuckerman hosts, and he's got all different kinds of things that are really devoted to making you your best you. So you can tune in tonight. That starts at 7 o'clock Eastern. There are just a few samples of some of the things that he's got going on for you. So definitely tune into that. You will enjoy it. Um, he often is is visited by experts and, um, and all kinds of things. So definitely check that out tonight. All right, and up next, our showstopper. We start out with wonderful, healthy ingredients, and then if you cook things right, let me tell you, you can get a healthy, delicious meal, but you gotta have the right ingredients and you have to have the right tools to do it. Leave it to our friends at Cuisinart. I can't even get over how great this deal is because you're not getting one, you're getting two saute pans. Together, they form a frittata pan set. One actually wedges right on top of the other, so you can make that, but these are, first of all, uh, and, and right out of the gate, are amazing pans. They're uh, aluminum and stainless steel, riveted handles. You have that, uh, that comfort grip that's also a stay cool grip. Um, always use a towel when you take it out of the oven. They're oven safe. What we love about this, Mr. Tim Wilkins, is the fact that we don't get one, we get two two and they actually nest together. Now I worked in the restaurant business for close to 20 years. Every chef, we have about, we get about a hundred plain stainless steel pans. Yeah. And they always take one pan and put it on the other to be able to keep the, you know, to, to keep things warm and also to melt like when you're putting cheese and stuff like that right. inside there. Also, when you utilize these pans together, you can make the most amazing omelets and frittatas. They come in your choice of three colors. Uh, the one I have is turquoise. It comes in red and it comes in black. Tim, I'd pay $49 for, for one, one of these. For one. You're getting two for 29 bucks. And boy, uh, look at the even heat distribution look, on your steaks. Well, that's, and the, yummy. that's the aluminum core. So you're getting a premium nonstick that you'd expect from Cuisinart, one of the right. top names in cooking. Uh, aluminum core, you're getting quick, even uh, cooking as well with one more layer. And then you'll see in a minute when I show you on a not so hot pan how it's built to nest. Unlike those other things that flip in half to make yeah. omelets. This is actually built to nest inside of each other, and the handle's built to work closer to each other and be cool to the touch, of course. Right. So when you do flip things over, you get that beautiful flip. All right, brother. You know what? Here's one of the things I love to do as a chef. I love to deglaze. Let's put a little butter in here. Let's put a little. See, a nice thing is we didn't have to put any in there to begin, but now you're creating a sauce. Yes. So you can make a little sauce with the little leftover bits that are in the pan. One thing I, I wouldn't do if I didn't have the right pan, I wouldn't put balsamic on these, uh, these beautiful uh, Brussels sprouts. Very sugary. Because it's very sugary right. and that would burn on there. Let's let those cook. Now, you know what? We're gonna put this in the oven, Guy, because they're oven safe to yeah. 350. Okay. I'm gonna put this in here for a few minutes while we're doing our thing. And I'll then when you. I flip it, you'll see how this works. You'll see how these nest together. Now, all right. Here's the beauty, brother. I'm gonna give you a little. I'm, I'm, I'm adding a little balsamic into your sauce. Nice. You don't mind because I Another like that bit. my steak sauce. Actually, so here's what your guy was talking about a minute ago. Okay. If you were to put cheese on something, you would be worried that this would be really something that would not clean off easily. Well, it's gonna burn. Tim. It's gonna burn. Right. Now I've been. Pr okay. Let's look at this. This is a hot pan. But look at how the ridges nest together. One is built. These are very high anyway. So when you're flipping things around, they won't flip all over. These go into each other as well. These little handles, you see how that grips right in there. Perfectly nest. Perfectly like nest. So when you do flip it over, oh my God. That's what you've got. Now, let's see. That one's good and hot. We'll put that on there. Let's make, uh, let's make some salmon. Okay. This is another one of those things that, you know, you may not want to touch fish. I've already seasoned this. 
Let's put a nice aromatic in there. We'll put some dill. And you're, and you're doing it skin side down. Well, when I flip it, you're going to see that. Skin side up. Skin side up, you're right. going to see that beautiful crust normally, when I flip it back yeah, over. Yeah, normally you, you would put it skin side down because of the nonstick uh, uh, property of the skin. But we're going right with the flesh, which is normally very sticky. So you'll be amazed when you see, ooh, you got a nice little pan sauce going on, okay, don't you, buddy? Okay, I do. That's, that's, that's came together really nicely. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's put some, uh, you know what? Put a little more red wine let's in this one. Put a little more red wine yeah, in there. Yeah, and that oh. way we'll get very perfect. Now you got your there we go right there. Now, when I cut this steak, normally you would you would want to finish this off in the oven, but this made that beautiful mid-rare steak. We're going to put those. Throw it right back. Yeah, throw it yeah, on there. And throw it we'll, in there. We'll finish cooking right in the pan. Right in the pan. Beautiful. Yeah, and then we'll carve it up. Look so at that. So now man. we've got that sort of doing its thing. Everything is burning here. Let me go through and show you what you get really quick while it's in, because I know it's tough, to, it's tough to cook and talk at the same time. Come on over here. I want to show you. So when you order... You're going to get both these pans, and you'll notice that there is a subtle difference between the two pans. The handle on the bottom is a little bit different, right? The helper handle. That's because that is how you connect the two. So if you put your eggs or your frittata or whatever it is in here, you take the other pan and you simply pop it on like that. Now you've got one solid piece, and what you can do is, when you're ready, and we'll show you that momentarily, flip it over, you put it on the other side. There's no more trying to get that frittata out of there, which can be a nightmare. If you try to do it and you do it wrong and the whole thing sticks, then you're nothing but miserable. Um, and so basically these two pans allow that to, to occur without having to get in there with a spatula and, and all that And if you stuff. only make a frittata every few Ooh, weeks, yeah. I make omelets every couple days and they work just great for that. So you don't Perfect. have to flip all that, worry about the push pull. But if you only do that every once in a while, you're still getting two beautiful 10 inch nonstick pans. And so I was telling you a minute ago, let's come out to the Brussels sprouts. Jesus. When I do this, these high sides give oh you the ability God. to do that chef move Look at without that. it spilling all over. That's how your stir fries are going to come out better. That's how your prim primavera that I could make here in a second is going to come out better. Oh my Look gosh. at the glaze on those guys right there. See, you think we're ready? The salmon is cooking beautifully. Salmon is cooking we beautifully. We didn't have to add any fat. Salmon is a very fatty fish, so you don't have as good fat, though, good by fat. the way. Oh, as Tim knows. Another minute. Another minute. Hey, Tim, if I you wanted to. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's do a flip. Should we? Yeah, yeah, a, yeah. Let's do this so we don't have to even mess with it. Ready? This is the best. <laughs> what? Look, Are you kidding me? That's why I did that flesh side that down to start off with. Look at that awesome. beautiful glaze on there. And, and you see by the quality of these saute pans how well they cook. So now without even having to get in there, because you would have broken those apart. More I, than likely, I would have. you would have busted those I, apart. Well, I actually grabbed them with the tongs and started to see them come apart. That's why I decided Good to move. make that move. Now, All right, so let's here's look. Your, let's here's look your burned on cheese. Here's yeah. the beauty of a Cuisinart nonstick just wiping right out of here. That wasn't even burnt on yet because wow. these are so good. There's your cleanup. Amazing. That's how beautiful that is. Unbelievable. All right, listen, this is $29.95 for both pans, not just for one. Um, so you get two great pans. And my producer, Paul, uh, just brought up a good point. He goes, you know, it's almost like having an oven on top of your stove because you're putting the top on it. Almost like when you cook with like a, a you know, a Dutch oven and you have a lid. These are saute pans that actually create their own lid. And it makes, uh, it makes really for just a it wonderful. It gives you that beautiful convection. Yeah. I'll hold your sauce. You ready, buddy? Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those finished off really nicely in the pan. Oh, yeah, man. Put those on the thing. And I'll put, put those on our Brussels sprouts. Put that one over here and display that. Now put our beautiful pan sauce on there. Sauce right on the Here's top. the beauty of having two great pans. Look at that. Wow. Smell that. The crew can smell that. That is awesome. All right, extremely busy right now. This is our showstopper. We just brought it in. You know, even if you never use <coughs> the two pans together, it's so great to have two saute pans from Cuisinart for $15 a piece. Because I know even the closeout stores, a good saute pan, $29.95 $29 just for one. With a good aluminum bottom and yep. good non-stick. Wow. I can't you know get what, over guy? how well these are cooking. Let's, let's put, a couple, your asparagus in there? put a couple in here as well. I love it. And you know what I'm going to do to get it really nice? A little white wine. I'll back away. Please do. <laughs> and the smell oh, is yeah. just glorious. Look at how pretty that is. You know, I've said this for years to people. Uh, with my experience in restaurants, it's it's the most important thing you can do out of the gate. And they teach every kid that comes out of, uh, that goes into culinary school. This is buy and make the investment of getting some decent tools. That means good cutlery. That means good pots and pans. Don't buy a cheap. Oh, let, me, let me tell you. I know you can go to the big department store and you can buy a cheap uh, pan for $12.99. Okay, so after that six months and you throw that pan away and you have to buy another one for $12.99, then you can talk to me. This is a way to be able to get quality from Cuisinart. And by the way, 
Um, what if I told you it came with a five-year warranty? You know what I'd be doing? I'd be lying. It, because what if I said 10 years? No, no, no. I'm a liar. How long is this warranty, guy? Rest of your life, Tim. Oh, the rest of your life. You know Rest what I'm going to do? Your life. It's a lifetime warranty. Let's Love actually that. put a little. I'm going to go over to the kitchen, the uh, oven here in a minute, and flip this beautiful frittata we made. Yeah, go ahead, and I'll watch. You know, I'll watch your stuff. Would you watch my? And, and by the way, <clears throat> as you saw, olive oil. If you want to add it, you can add it. That's fine. You don't need it with these pans, but olive oil is also very good for you. Uh, and also, uh, you know, it's a very, very good cooking fat. It has incredible flavor. I use butter and, and olive oil basically as a flavoring agent because all, all my stuff at home, I have seasoned stainless pans, so I don't need a lot of fat in those. I don't, I don't cook anything that's sticky and anything but nonstick. Um, makes my life a lot easier. Uh, and I will find that, I find that I use my nonsticks 99% of the time. The only time I use my stainless is when I'm doing, uh, you know, heavy duty caramelization and I'm finishing things in the oven. But when I'm doing my day-to-day -day cooking, I stick with, uh, I stick with this, uh, the um, aluminum and stainless with nonstick inside. All right, tell everybody what you did. You ready, buddy? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I put this in the oven. This is oven safe up to 350. Can you do me a favor? Yes. Can we look at it before you flip it? Or can we open it really quick and sure just look we can. inside? I want everybody to see. Okay, so you see, We've got all our stuff going on there. We'll just make sure that it's hooked up properly. Could have used another minute, but this is the magic of TV. We've only got time. Right. I want to show you the flip. Probably could use another two minutes. Oven safe to 350. You're going to give yeah. this a little flip. And look, look at how beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So, it's, a little, it's a little overdone, but that's just because it's yeah, TV and we didn't get to watch TV. it. But I love what you did but there. But the non-stick there. Looky, looky, looky. Is going to give us a beautiful frittata for our guests. Look at that. How are we doing over there, guy? We're doing fantastic. But I yep. love the high sides on these that give the ability to flip all that stuff all over with our Primavera. Look at this. We're going to put in some pasta. We got pasta. the ability to make all these beautiful, healthy meals. Now, right. here's something. We're going to put this in here. We'll do a little red sauce A little red there. sauce in here. But what we can do, we'll grab another one of our red tops. Got one. There we are. There's our, there's our other pan. And up. Oh, we're going to get the right top to top. It's all right. Yeah, there remember, remember there are two. They're not the same pan. One is uh, for one side and one is for the other. And look at how beautifully that Lock nest. That in. We'll let Ready? that cook. Ready? Yep. Let that give a little convection there. Sure. We'll give this a little flip here. Look how beautiful we are able to work these pans. Yeah. And when I'm ready, I'm going to put some rice in here. Oh, some mm -hmm. bean sprouts. Fantastic. You can flip, and you can use these to flip a lot more than a frittata. Yeah, if you don't want to, if you're, you know, listen, if you want to, if you just want to flip something over, you can use both of them. I, I know that all the chefs that I worked with use two pans when they saute because they don't have a lot of oven space. You create an oven, and you create basically convection cooking when you put a lid on top. Absolutely. Right. As you're getting, look at the heat, look at the steam coming out of that. You were exactly right. That was from five seconds of convection. You ready? Let's put a little teriyaki sauce on this nice. like I would at home for little Gracie who loves her teriyaki chicken stir fry. Mm -hmm. I want you to look at the inside of this pan. You can see the heat and the steam that's coming off this pan. I just took this off the grill or off the other pan. So that's when you, when we talk about convection cooking, You'll see it's a completely tight seal. There's no steam coming out of there, right? When I take it off, you see the steam just recirculates. So that's what helps things to cook uh, a, a lot faster. If you want to do that, I can flip it just like that. And now I've used, utilized both sides and everything is perfect. Take my one pan away. What do you think, a little cheese on here, my friend? Let's do it. Uh, let's go with the parm. And let's get you a plate. I delicious. cannot believe how much we just cooked in nine minutes. I know. Well, having two brand new saute pans does make life a lot easier. So if you, if you would, please, if I could reach across you, I do want to show you once again, nice and tight. Look at that. So a pasta, look at that, you even garnished. Mm -hmm. You have been in the restaurant business. <laughs> we long. got the beautiful salmon, which flipping that over made that so much easier. We didn't have to crumble those pieces or break them in half with either yeah. a spatula or tongs. The beautiful stir fry, which we were able to jerk around and flip over and get all that sauce mm, in there. Beautiful mix. meals, Tim. Good Re job. Real, real quick, I want to see this pan how it nests. Yeah. You see these ridges, that's what gives you the ability. Both sides, you'll see the lip on the outside and then these lock on the outside that this gets down inside and the way these handles mesh together, you don't have full rounded handles. Yeah. So you're able to flip this and do all the maneuvers yeah. you like to as a it's chef. professional quality, make you feel great. And, and you know, you wanna get great results. $29.95, it's on FlexPay 998. Tim, great job as Thanks always, thank you so much. We have wonderful food to eat thanks to you. 
Let's check in with Shannon. She's outside, and boy, does she have a really fun way to cook for uh, for summertime cookout. I have the best job in the world. All I do is eat. I do get accused of that all the time. Don't you do? All you do is eat. Um, I do, but I get to share the way to cook this beautiful food with you. And today, I get to share it for you, to you, with you, for sixty dollars off. Can you tell? I literally can hardly even think. I walked out of here. It smells so incredible. This is the secret. This is the way that all the diners cook. This is the way to cook for yourself, for a whole group of people. Uh, Eric Tochterman is here cooking up a storm for us. Eric is one of our favorite chefs here at HSN. He's exclusive to HSN. You are exclusive to HSN. Oh, this thank is the you. Blackstone Griddle. <laughs> and all you're gonna do is, it comes with the adapter hose. You're just gonna plug it into um, your propane tank and you're gonna be able to cook outside. We do have a, a, a cover for it. We've got all the spatulas all that you're cooking with it. Oh yeah. We're gonna get into all that. Oh, but look at this. So Blackstone is going to give you cooking without compromise. You're going to be able to do everything your grill can do and about a thousand things more. Well, yeah, my grill can't do that. Well, you all can't those do little that. veggies would be down in the Exactly. Fire. You're going to be chasing them. They're going to be burnt or not even existent. They're going to be in that drip tray. Yeah. So look at this. It all comes down okay, to this. an absolute perfect oh. sear. Now, granted, I love perfect. I love a grilled steak, but nine out of ten times when I'm cooking at home, I'm searing my steaks indoors. Now you can do it outdoors, and you're going to get that perfect restaurant seared crust Look, that you're not going to get anywhere else. Oh my gosh! And it's caramelization across the whole thing. That shows how evenly the griddle cooks everything. Because it's two dual control burners that we're go we're going to show you in a in a little bit, and it's going to give you the control. So you could actually be high on one side and low on the other side. So you could actually sear if you want to, or keep some things already uh, already cool on the other. So the command the Blackstone 22 inch griddle is going to have you covered from breakfast to dinner and everything in between. And it's huge when you talk about, so we've been cooking, we've been cooking protein pancakes, we've been cooking waffles. You can do tons of burgers, tons of pancakes, or one steak. You can cook, you can turn on both sides, or just one side. This is gonna be the way that you cook outdoors. If you already have a grill and you're like, yeah, but I already have a grill. You can't cook those vegetables on your grill. You can't cook pancakes on your grill. And Everything it, that we're gonna show you. And it's not easy to actually cut on your grill also. Wait, you can actually that do that. No. You're actually cutting. Have you ever been to one of the uh, the restaurants, the teppanyaki places, where yes. they're going to cook in front of you? Right. You know what they're doing? They cut on. They cut everything on there. How are this we is, able to do that? This is because it's cold rolled steel, and what that means is that the process of how they actually make this griddle makes it super durable. So you're actually getting that restaurant and that diner experience when you see everybody cooking with those flat top griddles. Right. And what it is, it's almost like your, your grandmother's cast iron where every time you cook, oh, yeah. you're using it, you're seasoning it. You're actually not really, really cleaning it after you're just wiping it out. Okay. Same thing with this, when you're done, you just put a little water on it, wipe it clean, and it's actually gonna create a memory. So each and every time that you're huh. cooking, you're gonna create that nonstick surface. And you're gonna remember what you ate from the last time, which is gonna bring you back to cook more. <laughs> so it's gonna remember, it's going to get better and better every time. And um, what do we do when we're gonna season it for the very first time? Like before we use it ever, how do we, how do we start? Super easy, all you need to do is hook it up to your propane tank, turn on the burners to high. You're gonna put a little film of oil, wipe it with a towel, okay. let it burn off. It's gonna create smoke and it's gonna burn off. That's it, you're ready to cook, and right out of the box. To, you never have to season it ever again, just like your grandmother with the cast iron skillet, or maybe you said, don't you dare wash my cast iron skillet, right? It takes years sometimes to build up that seasoning. This exactly. one time you season it and you're done. So that's it, it's ready. You might wipe it off for the next time, but look at all of this food. The that's seared the snake, piece. the vegetables, you can do that. You're gonna be able to do everything your grill can do and a thousand things more. Well, and perfect for camping, because you can bring this with you, you can have this outside. That's what I'm talking about. Look at all those pancakes. That was 15 full-size pancakes. And you've got the two different, really basic different zones. So you can heat, uh, you can be cooking your potatoes on one side on a little bit lower, or once you crisp them up, and you can cook eggs on the other side. This is safe enough for fish and completely non-stick. And even though it's gonna be non-stick, you're able to cut on it. That's how tough that steel is. So it comes with the, with the little hose converter. All you're gonna do is hook your propane tank right up to it. Couldn't be simpler. You're gonna turn it on and get grilling. And it's different. This is a different, there's a reason that 
that the diners use these grills and instead you, of like an outdoor grill. You literally just took a thought out of my mouth. That's the reason why people <laughs> go to diners and go to those greasy spoons in their neighborhood. It's because they're using the griddle in here. All the flavor has been built in over time, over months, over years. That's why everybody is going for their favorite eggs, their favorite bacon, mm. whether they want nice crispy bacon. Some people actually like it on the burnt side, which I don't understand why, but hey, uh. to each his own. <laughs> so we have everything here. We have these great uh, spatulas that are uh, available. You I, actually, I love that. You have Look your bacon, that. and then you can also get a scraper as a little additional. So all you want to do ah. is we got this great drip, drip tray right in the front. So anything, anytime, anywhere, you're cooking without compromise. You're doing anything and everything that you could possibly want. And, and you're you, ready for more. And do you see that? It's not scratching or scraping. You clearly don't have to baby it. You could just leave this outside. It's an outdoor grill. We do have a cover for it as well. These I think are so cool. We saw these in the little video. Um, these are the little egg cookers to keep them all in their like perfect circles. So of course you can just cook up a whole passel. I mean, I don't think passel is a word, but a passel of eggs. Could be a dozen eggs scrambled all together. A couple dozen eggs all scrambled together. Or you can get the little circles. I love these. Yeah, it, so keep, cool. it keeps it keeps it shaped. So if you want to put them in a uh, you know a little, a little sandwich, sandwich form, you can do that. But then we also have your nice little breakfast kit. Think about when you cook pancakes, which I do for my boys a lot. No matter the size of your pan, I can never get more than three in my pan. Right. Well, they're always kind of an awkward shape. But because of the 22 inches by 16 inches. You can create pancake after pancake after pancake and keep the neighbors coming. Because I don't know if, if your house is like this, but our house is the house to go to. Yeah. So on the weekends, sometimes we wind up having the kids come over from you know the neighbor's kids. Sure. What are you gonna do if you wanna cook breakfast? You just keep we on can take cooking. The, we can take this out back. And I this love is it. this is already because of the heat, it's already starting to bubble. You know it's ready to go. And look at how evenly it's cooking. Now we're talking, I can't even count how many cheeseburgers are cooked right there. And you because you've got the dual sides, you can cook some well done, some medium. But you just to whatever anybody feels like, you personalize it, you customize it. What are those cheese steaks? Okay, I'm yes. getting distracted even by the video. If you're watching this and, one, and you're gonna, distracted we're gonna by the video. And we're gonna get to all that. Oh my goodness, you can't do any better than this price, $139. We'll ship it to you for free, which is a big deal, because this is a big, this is literally going to replace your grill. If you don't have a grill, maybe you don't have enough space for a grill, you put this outside, it's 22 inches. You're gonna need a propane tank, that's it. But we include the converter, that hose, so you don't need to buy anything else. We love the little tools as well, but watch this. So, we, so whether this? you you like your, your eggs sunny side up like I do, or you like them over easy, over medium, everybody's worried, is it going to stick? That's what the seasoning does yeah. over time. It's gonna create that nice smooth surface. So all you have to do is get under there and flip your eggs and you can have your over easy, your over medium, your well done egg. Totally cooked all the way all through. The way around. Same edge with all the to pancakes. edge. Edge to edge. Imagine creating that um, huge brunch outdoors, a really great opportunity. And it heats up so fast. There's a reason that uh, this is the one that's used by diners, that you're gonna love it. It's a great addition to maybe you have an outdoor kitchen or maybe you sort of dream of having an outdoor kitchen. This is a great one to even add alongside your grill because my grill, you know, I cook steaks or chicken or something that I do all the veggies indoors and I'm running inside and outside and doing everything. Yes. This is your one-stop shop. You can cook the entire meal right here in front of you. And I think that's really cool because sometimes I think, well, uh, grill might be healthier because all the grease goes down into the into the whatever coals or whatever. I mean, it's not really coals, right. but you know what I mean. Into the grates. Yeah, but this has a little drip tray, so it's never messy. You can cook in the bacon grease if you want to, or you can scrape it right into the tray. One thing I'm big on is cleaning as you go. Okay. So I like to actually cook and and be cleaning. So the the quicker you clean, quicker you can start eating, and I everybody can be in, enjoying. I usually wait till my husband cleans. I cook and he has to clean. That he might not like that. <laughs> What are you making here? We're gonna do an omelet. Can you do an omelet on your grill? I know Please. I can't. It would be, <laughs> be kind of a mess. Be all over the place. Yeah. So again, this is 22 inches. This is 22 inches by 16, cold rolled steel. And what that means to you is that the process of the steel 
It's actually going to create a very hard, dense surface, surface, pardon me, that is going to create that nice non-stickability that all the restaurants, all the diners, all across the, all over the world is using. This is a family size omelet you're making. It here, really right? is. Well, you know, I have a lot <laughs> of neighbors that kind of, like I said, we're the go-to house for fun. So, yeah. you know, we got we to gotta keep everybody happy. Absolutely. You know what? Today is the only day we've got five flex on this and free shipping and handling for $27.99. You know what? You owe it to yourself and maybe the whole neighborhood to try it out. Even if you're just cooking for one, this is going to give you the best flavor, that diner flavor and perfect customizable $27.99. You know what else? It's fun. If you've got a griddle and you're saying right now, come on, Shannon, Eric, I've got a griddle. Your griddle cannot handle this. Even on no. that indoor griddle, what is it like? I mean, maybe like it's tiny. a third of the size, probably, of this. This is 352 square inches of cold rolled steel. That's a lot of space. This and it's heat edge to edge. E oh edge to edge. Gosh. And I'm going to go ahead, roll up this omelet. <laughs> and amazing. I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to show you exactly what makes the, the Blackstone 22-inch griddle tick. And just like that, Ooh. breakfast is served for however many people. Or if you're Tim just Wilkins, one. this would be for one person. <laughs> Right, just one. I'm surprised. A little hot sauce. Didn't make it out here. Look Done. at that. You are ready to go. Seriously, that's incredible. Bacon, what have we got? hash browns. Yeah. What everything. have we got coming up? Okay, I was just talking about. I love, I love breakfast for dinner. I call it Brenner. That's a great way to do Brenner. But also, Fourth of July is coming up. Memorial Day is coming up. Father's Day is coming up. This makes a great gift for Father's Day. But I'm telling you, this will be $1.99 come Father's Day everywhere that you can find it. So you, you can say, just pop you say that Brenner? right off. I say drunch. Drunch. Or, or, or breakfast. Nice. That's what we say. All right, hey, so, we all get it, right? <laughs> 22 inches, 20, 22 wide by 16. Cold rolled steel, which is going to give you a very hard, dense surface, which is going to help create that non-stickability over time as you season it. Okay. Now, this is no joke. Feel the weight of this. This is substantial. Oh, yeah, that's right? serious. Oh, my gosh. Serious stuff. I'm glad we're shipping it to you for free, because this would be an arm and a leg to ship. Actually, and you have dual controls. And what you see here, it's not just one beam uh, uh, you know, to kick up the flames. Mm -hmm. You have this actual H uh, f flame. Dual controls, you actually have one side high, one side low. You can sear things on one side or keep things uh, kind of in a cool, uh -huh. warm, you know, in a warm stage if you want. And the thing that's great is that it's gonna come, you're gonna be able to cook with two possibilities. Your normal little uh, two pound gas uh, propane tank. Oh, okay. Or we also give you the hose to be able to convert to your big grill, you know, the big 20 pound tank that right. everybody usually uses. So you're well covered. So whether you want to go tailgating or oh, you're going to okay. cook out back, this is, this is great. This is ready to go. I know yeah. when, my, when my dad is going to go over to Alabama and, uh, you know, root for Bama, he could take this and yeah. go and, and go in. Uh, Right out, right outside. Well, I know we experienced a, a pretty severe hurricane last year, and so many people lost power. This, um, I mean, I hate to say hurricane season, but everybody's got their seasons. You know, it's whether it's flood season in California or fire season. The tendency to be able to lose power is is really big. You right. could literally be cooking for the entire family. You can't do that on your grill. Look at these burgers. Can we get tight on these? This is incredible. Whether it's cheeseburgers or regular hamburgers. This is a dozen burgers that we did. Holy cow. Now you're talking about you're talking about the different weather that everybody has to deal with. Sure. I'm originally from the Northeast. I'm from the Philadelphia area. So so many people had such a long winter. Yes. And it's now time. It's springtime. We're you know at the end of the month we're, we're we're kicking off the summer season. Everybody that has dealt with that long winter is dying to get out. Outside. You can now do it with the Blackstone 22-inch griddle. And look at even look at all the, the burgers. burgers are caramelized and cooked to perfection. You can see how juicy right. they are. You can't Pardon. do that on your grill. You know, your grill would have, like, little uneven grill marks, or some of it would be sticking to the grill. None of it stuck to the Blackstone because it's seasoned. And when it's seasoned, it adds more of that caramelization. And flavor. Oh. The flavor gets built in over time. That's what it is. That's why diners mm. and restaurants... Uh, cook on flat top griddles because over time all they're doing is they're 
hot water, boiling it off. When you go to those Japanese restaurants doing the teppanyaki, yeah. when they're done cooking your food and presenting it to you, you'll see them, they do what, uh, hot water, wet towel, and that's done because they're creating all of that flavor that's going to create that mm -hmm. nonstick time after time after time. That could be, that could be your house. Like you could create that entire dozen burgers for Memorial Day. For 4th of July, you can, if you've got people over, you don't want to heat up the house. So this is a great way to be able to be outside, create, wait, what are you doing? I'm creating a, 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 a special little dog. Oh, you're putting cheese? Dog. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna create a glute, kind of a gluten-free uh, version of a bun. We're gonna let that cook down. We're gonna put the sausage in there and roll it up. But only on your Blackstone. You would never right. put cheese on anything, even a pan inside your house, let alone your grill. Obviously, you would never, please don't ever put that on your grill. But you can do that on the Blackstone because it's seasoned, because it's not gonna stick, and because it's gonna cook it exactly evenly. Oh my gosh, look at that. Little toad in the hole with a burger. Excellent. Now think, think about all the, the places that you go to eat where you can actually see the kitchen. If you go inside, you're going to, you're actually gonna see them cooking on flat top griddles. Yes, they have normal grills and they have stove tops with burners, but almost every place has a griddle. My, fa my favorite burger place what? cooks. Oh. On a flat top well, griddle. Yeah, everybody's favorite pla burger place. Well, I mean, that, maybe my that, kids. There's that chain. The uh, you know has they cook fries and burgers, and it's a, a few guys. That, oh sure, okay, that, all right, I know. Yep. <laughs> and that's and oh, that's what's great. It. You can kind of create your own experience, yeah. your own toppings. But everybody's got their place, right? My favorite burger place is only in California and the West Coast. You just yes. they get you in and yeah, you pop in, you pop out, fast. you get your burger. Yeah. I got exactly. you. But you can I'm make your own lines. version exactly. And I mean, imagine whatever it is, fajitas or your favorite scrambled eggs. You can cook on this. And it, people like, okay, if you're a purist like my dad, and he doesn't like to cook on gas because he thinks that it smells like gas. Yes. What you just showed us is the propane, it heats up the coils, which heat up the heat up the entire Correct. griddle. The, that gas is not what's heating your food. So if you're a purist, Correct. you'll love this. You're not, you're not going to taste that no. propane flavor. Absolutely not. And once you go through that initial um, seasoning, when you, when you get it out of the box and you season it with the oil, yeah. after that, 10 to 15 minutes, this is blazing hot. Oh, you're nice. ready to go. Look at that. So, and, and you can see how it's perfectly cooked. You did the, you did the onions, you did the, the peppers. peppers. Now, now, being from Philadelphia, cheesesteaks is kind of in, in my blood. Yeah, exactly. And there's always a fight, especially in my house, whether you want the orange stuff the or do you want... The stuff? The yes. Yeah. Or, do you, or do you want the provolone? My, my wife is a, is a provolone fan. Uh -huh. So, Sharon, this is for you. I'm going to save this and bring it home we later. Love you, Sharon. I like the other stuff. You like cheese with a Z? Yeah, I like cheese with a Z. <laughs> I, I like, I like cheese wit. Cheese. That's, that's me. Yeah. And when I was, when I was cooking in the, uh, the restaurant... This is what we would be using to create um, cheesesteaks. All right. We would use it to cook crab cakes. So whatever it is that you want to do, you can customize this, whether you're using chicken or uh, a shaved ribeye to oh create the perfect Incredible. Philadelphia cheesesteak, just like that. And as you were saying, not to take anything away from this, and everybody's <laughs> drooling. If you're drooling right now, it's $27.99 to get this cheesesteak home and about 80 more just like it because you're going to be an expert chef, even if you've never made a Philly cheesesteak before, even if you're not from Philadelphia, but you just love that flavor, this will turn you into that same type of chef. Perfect caramelization, perfect cooking, dual side heating, so you can turn one up high, you can turn one down. Low. You can cook veggies on one side, eggs on the other, steaks and chicken and really whatever is your pleasure, whatever is making your mouth water right now. You get 339 square inches of cooking space. It's thick cold rolled steel that is on that griddle top, double H style burner, two independently controlled burners today. You're saving $60 and we'll ship it to you for free. And this is a big guy. So this is your outdoor griddle that will cook, oh my goodness, even cheese flat on the griddle. You can't do, you can't do any of this on your grill. Look at, you know what, that's... Look at that. That's incredible, that was, that's cheese. That's cheddar cheese with a sausage inside. You're so think about me. the next time you're, you're going to your favorite game, whatever, if it's football or baseball, and you're gonna root your favorite team. Think about what you're about to pay inside to eat a hamburger. Oh my gosh, no doubt. To eat a sausage, to eat a, uh, a Philadelphia cheesesteak. Why not bring this with you portable, find a friend with a pickup truck, 
Yeah. And you can cook right outside in the uh, in the parking lot. Absolutely. Well, a lot of people too. If you've got uh, if you've got an RV, you're somebody who travels and and you want to be able to cook on the go. You just pop that little propane tank in. You pop your griddle on, and it's already seasoned. So you don't have to bring any extra. You're not spraying or buttering or no. greasing or anything. It's Only if you want cooking. to. Sure. Yeah, for flavor, right? Exactly. Not because it won't stick. Thank you so much, Eric. Thank you. It was a Appreciate pleasure. It. You're going to love it. Yeah, absolutely. Get it home for $27.99. Get the extra spatulas and all the extra additionals. We've got to cover as well. All right. We are up next with our today's special. Don't go anywhere. Discover the newest way to create a style all your own. The HSN Style Edit. A curated look at the season's best, most original finds for every part of your life. We decode the trends, share tips and how-tos, and give you the inspiration you need to style it your way. It's the joy of the hunt and the thrill of the find. Your unique style is here. Discover it now, exclusively at hsn.com. There's so many things to love about HSN, but one thing that makes shopping here fun is FlexPay. Get it home now without the stress of paying all at once. Why pay full purchase price today when you can pay over time? Buy what you want now. Pay it off later with your credit or debit card. FlexPay. It's that easy. Exclusively at HSN. Since 2011, HSN Cares and Habitat for Humanity have been helping women realize their dream of home ownership. HSN Cares believes in giving back. You're building lives. HSN actually cares. For the entire month of May, HSN Cares will donate $1 from every at-home item sold during at-home shows. None of this could have happened without your donations. Thank you for helping me make my dream a reality. HSN Cares.